we see before us a high-ranking courtesan in her private rooms. Her hair is arranged with great style and elegance, decorated with the customary tortoiseshell comb, long hairpins, and the red ornament made of finest coral. Yet, despite this splendor, the courtesan seems downhearted. Taking her wad of tissues called kaisi, she points vaguely into the distance as she recalls the distant past. The lyrics describe how, though she once thought her life in the pleasure quarters a miserable one, now she thinks fondly of those days. She thinks of the lover who used to visit her in the pleasure houses and whom now she can no longer meet. In the singer's lines, From meeting my beloved I am checked as at Osaka barrier. Such are the cruel lessons of this bitter world. Osaka barrier was an ancient checkpoint along the road leading from Kyoto to the east. It became famous in literature as a place of sad parting between friends or lovers, as one of them would continue their journey, leaving the other behind. The type of music in this dance is called jiuta. Unlike the Nagaota or Kiyomoto schools heard for other works on this DVD, which were created for the Kabuki theater, jiuta evolved as private parlor entertainment in the licensed pleasure quarters, where the singers and musicians were frequently women. Jiuta gives a feeling of quiet intimacy and often features longer instrumental sections as here. The flute we can hear is called shakuhachi. The lyrics tell us that the courtesan and her beloved are now separated by some other man. Such courtesans would work in the pleasure houses under strict contract for a lengthy period of time but they could be bought out at any time by wealthy customers and would then go to live with them. Often the woman herself would have little say in the matter and here the lyrics imply that this courtesan has been taken away, forced to leave her true lover behind. We hear that she feels trapped like a stream caught up in swampy marshland. Just as the marsh waters remain muddied and unclear, her own emotions feel clogged up in her breast.
She glances up, for briefly the moon shines clear and bright, as if a kindred spirit. Notice the crescent moon embroidered on her black outer robe, shining above a design of wild grasses. The moonlight steals its way through the window into her room. She mimes sliding open the shoji screens to see the moon directly. The singer contrasts the many enjoyments to be had out in the wide world with those more intimate pleasures shared indoors between lovers. The courtesan recalls the time spent with her beloved. The bow of the obi sash is unusual in that it is tied in front. Courtesans would wear their obi in this way. Despite the luxury of their costumes, they would also go barefoot. She lifts the tissues as if to chop, but then shakes her head to suggest that her relations with her loved one will never be cut. We hear of the sincerity of the lover's emotions, and the singer asks if, even in the history of ancient Cathay, there was ever a love so true. She looks up and shields herself with her sleeve from the scattering petals. The season is spring, and the pleasure quarters were famous for their cherry trees.
Even in the spring showers, the fragrance of the blossoms filled the air, and their fame spread far and wide. Indeed, how fondly she thinks back to those days.